Well, what's up, Aries? It's your girl, Sarah from Savage Indian, and welcome to your money reading for May 2022. All right. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. If you're looking for personal readings, all that information can be found in the description box below, along with all the cards I'm using in this reading, uh, links to my Patreon and channel membership, and a link to my spiritual safe place group on Facebook. All right, so let's get into your reading. All right, spirit, tell me about what Aries got going on in a wallet. What's going on in a bank account? What's the overall energy of this reading for Aries? Okay. All right, so it looks like your financial situation is being affected by some type of higher level of commitment. Uh, this could be a raise or promotion in your job with the Queen of Wands being here. Uh, the Queen of Wands is very confident, very knowledgeable of the things that she's passionate about, um, similar to the King of Wands. Uh, but with the Hierophant energy, this could be like a contract. Some of you all could be um, like actors, singers, something artistic or creative, and you are seeing yourself leveling up. Others of you all may just be very passionate about what you do, and because of that passion that you show, you are being rewarded with some type of promotion or uh, higher level. Okay, that's real cute. That's real cute. All right, what is the root of Aries' financial situation? Six of Swords, moving away from something. Okay, moving away from hard times towards expansion and completion. Not y'all finna have the best reading I've done. Come through, Aries. Y'all are moving towards expansion, completion growth y'all are gonna get everything that you want okay i love this and what is it that aries needs to do asap mm. Mm. aries <laughs> i just heard night night go night night you're not getting enough sleep. You're not getting enough rest. You're not getting enough peace. You may be stressing too much, overthinking things too much. Some of you all are thinking too much about a promotion. Like you already know that you're it's on the table or you're working really hard for it, but you're being really restless. Your peace is being um, disrupted by your mind. Moving too fast, doing too much. Okay, King of Pentacles energy, focusing on that level up. Some of you all um, may not have it yet, may not be on the table yet, and you're just like overthinking how to get it. What is the blockage here? That seems like a pretty big blockage. What is the blockage? Nine of Pentacles in strength. Because you're too financially, the blockage is you being too independent or overly independent. Clarify, please. For some of you all, this may be a marriage or a relationship. really too many balancing your priorities queen of swords mm. Aries you are so uh, hyper independent and so um, I need to fix everything I got this I can take care of this that you have a hard time receiving 
page of pentacles energy even the queen of swords like she got her gun up <laughs> she got her little thing you know up ready like what you want like you like you don't even trust the offer you're gonna really just aim that thing at a little page at a little kid look at him he's mad cute you can't trust his little cute face pinch his little zombie cheeks your blockage is your hyper independence okay um for some of you all this may not be a job or for some of you all if it is a job it may require you to work in a group setting and you're like nah i like working by myself but it just seems like teamwork is not your strong point and that's such an aries thing <laughs> because y'all are so dominant and so boss energy like i just heard i can't work with the peons oh my god like y'all are just so you know that energy oh my goodness i can't work with the peons wow okay so for some of you all it's your hyper independence that is blocking you from getting this level up from getting this a uh, promotion from you know for some of y'all it may be a relationship where working together gets you all the completion but you are so fiercely independent that you're like, I got to do all of this by myself. I got to take care of this by myself. Two of Pentacles energy, though, speaks to delegating responsibility. If you must be the Aries that you are, then delegate some shit. Don't feel like all that responsibility has to be on your shoulders. It don't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be this way. <laughs> Where will Aries find help? This ain't the way it's supposed to be. Okay. One more card, please, Spirit. Where can Aries find help? Temperance. Balance. Hello. Stop trying to do it all on yourself. That is not very balanced. That's putting all the weight on you. All right. Temperance. Along with the Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Okay. Um, hmm. Temperance, Page of Wands, Eight of Wands. In the reverse. I really feel like this is you, Little Page Energy. I feel like Spirit needs you to stop... Um, Buzzing around from, you know, place to place. This Eight of Wands is fast moving communication, fast movement, fast progress. Page of Wands, he has this idea. So I feel like like you get an idea, well, I got to do that. 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 And you don't got to do that. Spirit is saying, stop. Stop all the movement. Stop it. Slow down. You don't have to do everything that you think you have to do. Again, you can delegate responsibility to other people. You need to have some type of balance here. And you don't. You're trying to put it all on yourself. Learn to work as a team. There is no I in team, Aries. But you're like, but it's an I in Aries, though. <laughs> Look at you, finding a solution. It's an I in Aries, though. All right? Come on now. Monology, what messages do we have for Aries? I know y'all my favorite sign. I don't like to talk to y'all like this. But y'all made me. You made me do this. <laughs> that sounds abusive. I talk to you like this because you made me do this. Um, Sorry if that triggered anyone. Okay, personal issue reaches resolution. Perhaps the personal issue is you feeling like you have to do everything by yourself when you don't. Maybe you're going to finally understand that. Maybe you're finally going to release the need to do that. Okay? It's time to release negativity. That negativity could be that you don't think that anyone is smart enough or capable enough to get the job done as well as you, Aries. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I'm usually not. A uh, new romantic cycle begins. Like I said, for some of you all, this is a relationship. You're trying to do everything all by yourself when you got a whole partner. For some of y'all, y'all got two partners, depending on your lifestyle. <laughs> but you're trying to do everything all in yourself like you don't have help. 
full moon in Libra. How many times are we going to see temperance energy here? Those balancing scales. A win-win outcome is forecast. If you temper yourself, if you bring balance into yourself, four times, messages of balance are here. Four times. Stop trying to put it all on yourself, Aries. All right, Rebel Rebel, talk nice or don't. Extra heavy on the don't. I don't care, but please tell Aries what they need to hear. All right, the first one says, take a shot because <laughs> you need to relax. Take, don't take 12, one, maybe two, and then move on because you need to chill. Drop the fucking ego. I mean, I didn't say it. I don't make the news. Don't get mad at me. Okay? I just make the hits like a factory. <laughs> Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Be more vulnerable. Stop being so egotistical, Aries. Stop feeling like if you don't get it done, no one else is good enough to get it done. Everybody else is going to fuck it up. If this is a time to say, hey, you know what? I'm tired. I'm out here restless. I don't have no peace because I feel like it's all on me. I feel like it's all on me. So I need help. Sir, ma'am, they, them, whoever you need to say this to. Okay? And you think someone is lying. They are. But the real tea is it's you lying to yourself. For some of y'all. <laughs> That's the real tea. All right. So let's get an affirmator. Lying to yourself, thinking that you got to do it all to yourself, all by yourself. And don't. <laughs> Spirit is like high key, low key, high key, low key dragging y'all. I'm just giving y'all the messages. I don't have nothing to do with this. Authenticity, baby. Authenticity is the name of the game. Whatever comes up, I will feel it. Whatever needs to be said, I will say it. Whoever doesn't get it doesn't have to get it, but at least they know it because I've said it. And that's way better than leaving a passive aggressive note about it. So say what you need, Aries. I need help. I need assistance. I need somebody to do this, that, and the third. I need you to carry half of this load. Come on now, Aries. What's the advice? <laughs> I already synced it. Come on, spirit. Bam, boom, bam. Mm -hmm. It's love. It's the only thing that gets just all right. Too little love. The advice: ten of sticks, wands, burdens, tower energy, that ego. Hello, that ego. It is time for you to let this tower fall. Time to get out of ego and to acknowledge that you need help. Acknowledge that you don't have enough. That what is happening is not enough. That whoever is around you is not giving enough. This is a time for you to go within and, and find your truth. Acknowledge it. I think you know what it is, but I think you're ignoring it. And to finally speak it. This is time for you to be vulnerable about your needs and your wants. Okay, and the help that you require. Teamwork makes the dream work, okay? Teamwork makes the dream work, Aries. And your postcard from Spirit says, Dear you, the simple yet powerful law of cause and effect means everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence, and even in the spirit world, there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. 
Right now, you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition pay off. If some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can step beyond it just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to whatever is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? How we adore you. This card is a card of cause and effect, Aries. The cause, you withholding your need for assistance. The effect, burnout. The effect, lack, being overburdened. You refusing to come out of this ego. Cause, the effect, lack, feeling overburdened, restlessness, and a lack of peace. All because you're out here suppressing, hiding what it is that you truly feel and what you truly need. Get it together, Aries. Period. <laughs> okay? So that is your message. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time I read for you, Aries, I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.